Hello, welcome to Homesteading Northwest Florida. <clears throat> it is Friday, October 18th at 8 o'clock in the morning. And last night, apparently, we had 41 degrees. Let's see what the temperature is now. And we get some sun coming in here on this back porch area. Ooh, I have 53 degrees. So that's good that this area gets really good morning sun at 8 a.m. We got sun streaming in here and it's warming it up from the 41. So that's good. I don't know. It said it was 41 last night on weather.com on my phone, but uh, the plants seem to have done okay. They're getting weaker, though. This is not a strong growing time for them. The pepper plants. Oh, this one seems to be all right. I watered them. They say that water does prevent the frosting of the plants. And all the days ahead of this day uh, seem to be in the 80s and like 50-some at night. So if we made it through these two nights... Then we're going to be all right. And actually, the lettuce here is perking up. I'm going to do this whole bed of lettuce. But we are in a drought. It hasn't rained here for about three weeks. I can tell you in the past, when the last time it rained, I'd say about, maybe about three weeks. So, I, but I have been, you know, I just water these containers and everything like that stuff still doing all right and we're gonna have 80s and 50s sounds like 55 stuff like that after these last two nights reached kind of cold temperatures got a little tomato forming here I don't think that it gets that full coldness back here uh, this way is pretty much north so the building kind of blocks. We did have a really windy day yesterday, uh, or the day before, was just horribly nor horrible north winds. And all I got to say is I've had enough of north winds living in Wisconsin. Terrible. Don't want them here, but it happens. This area of Florida is far enough north. So, yeah, the, they seem to be faring okay, even with that night of 41 degrees last night. And almost every plant has got a pepper on it still. Harvested a whole bunch off of this. This one's turning. These turn kind of uh, chocolatey. Harvest them. They're in the uh, refrigerator. So, yeah, and I get these leaf bugs. Ooh, this one looks dead, though. Like that type of leaf cutter. Oh, he looks, he's pretty sleepy. I don't think they like, the, and I think it ki the cold temperatures killed a bunch of grasshoppers. That's what, uh, that's what I think happened there. And I'll probably kill this bug right there. Leaf footed, leaf footed bugs is what we get here. So it kind of ripped apart this eggplant. I actually should, uh, I did uh, chop these all the way to the ground, and they came back like, you know, this is about four feet high. So I should have chopped them again before this time of year of extreme growth. But yeah, every plant almost got a pepper here. So, and I think they're okay, even after 41 degrees. So, I think they're doing all right, except for my overwatering or whatever happened with the leaves cupping at the top. And I think they're doing all right. And they're turning colors a little quicker than they would be otherwise. I've got quite a few on this one. This plant might be a try to save it. And I, I do try to save some plants. I will be trying to overwinter them. 
and uh, save them after it gets really cold here, which might be another three weeks. I think we're going to have three weeks of beautiful weather, is what I think. Like 80, 75 during the day, and 55 at night. That's what I'm hoping. That's what they're predicting on weather.com. And I will be doing the final piece. The blue piece here is ready. I think I'm going to get my caulk that I need. Uh, GE silicone delivered today. But I just put a final coat of paint on... What is that? A bug. That was a bug on there. Jeez. On this blue board that we're going to use on that final area where I got to rip that other board off. I'll be showing that on a video maybe tomorrow. But uh, yeah, they fared all right, even at pretty cold night. But I don't think it was that cold right in this spot. I don't think it was 41 degrees because now it's 50 some. So I don't think they got nipped by the cold weather. So they didn't get frozen yet. Maybe I'm from Wisconsin and know what a freeze freeze can do. But I didn't cover them or anything like that. And I won't be, I don't think they can handle it. I don't think they can handle a sheet on top of them. But uh, that's what we're going to be. That's, they are looking all right, even after a cold, very cold night. There's the three. How's this doing? Oh, yeah, they seem pretty good. There's a whole group of them over here. But, yeah, none of the top leaves look like they got frosted, because frost is another thing. 32 degrees is another another thing that I don't want to deal with not yet not after uh, putting up with 95 degree 98 degrees for like three months so yeah that's what's going on here got quite a few there every plant's got a few peppers and even the small ones can be eaten and they will be fro cut up and frozen I got a couple bags already cut up and frozen. So, yeah, that's what's happening here. All right. Thanks for watching.